One mana? I, I don't think so. And we still have we still have a way of uh, boosting our guy up. We have a lot of protection here. Big boy! How you doing, big boy? Bro, coming to town. Santa, promise coming. Santa, promise coming. Sorry. Do one thing and pass. Oh, no. Hey. You little rascal. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me and uh, just enjoying the festivities. I figured I'd drop this video near the end of the day instead of the earlier parts, just so you guys can enjoy the time with your family. Uh, uh, or maybe it's because I had work. You know, whatever, you know, <laughs> it's, it's just, oh boy. Anyway, I thought that I would uh, give you guys a deck that whooped my absolute butt cakes. And it's going to be a fun little deck. And if you guys want, if this video gets, I don't know, I'd say that like 100 likes, I will bring back Old School Braum. The Old School Braum deck, which was my favorite, which is Scout Braum, is coming to town. But I wanted to do this one because it's actually, you know, it's obviously more new, more up to date. And uh, it's a deck that just whooped my ass in a, in a previous game. And it's going to be Braum Kale. It's just this really cool deck that utilizes the the busting the busting the puffing effects of a lot of the stuff that's in Frillion and Targon, and it allows you to actually just kind of push a ton of damage while you know using little cheap spells to kind of boost up Kale and you know just have this overwhelming kind of presence. And, and I've said this multiple times before. The keywords that Braum has, uh, Challenger and Regeneration, and Regeneration specifically is really good, because once you get Braum up to a respectable amount of uh, attack, he just kind of goes apeshit, and that's why I like the Scout deck. It's a little bit more gimmicky, in my opinion, but it's really cool to see him in this archetype, and then he just kind of becomes a threat. You have Mih uh, Mihada Aspect of Justice, and uh, yeah, like like just, just buffing him possibly over time, it's just really hard to deal with. We're also running the Spirits Unleashed as a three of. We have Kale in the deck, and we have a Field of Rush just in case things get a little bit spicy, if we can pull it off. That's obviously a slam dunk, but I'm not running any actual, like, ramp or anything like that. So we're, if we draw it, we draw it. If we don't, we don't. But this deck kind of works as a nice little low curve deck that just kind of, like, plays upon each other, and then either or Braum or Kale with half the stuff that's in the deck will just kind of like win games. And I fought against it and I got my, my cheeks clapped because I just couldn't keep up with it. <laughs> but I was like, damn, this is a pretty cool deck to premiere uh, the Braum thing. And because of, okay, uh, wait. And because of you guys' absolute generosity, we got this uh, Santa Braum and I'm able to easily afford something like that just because the, the channel is now funding itself. So pretty much in, in a sense. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support, uh, watching the videos, sharing them if you have or haven't. I, I appreciate that as well. So if you guys want to allow me to keep doing content like this, just please like, comment, and subscribe. Share the videos. If you guys ever see something that you really like and you want to show it to somebody else, please show it to someone else and uh, timestamp it for them. Maybe if, they, if you just want to show a specific part. It, any of that always helps, man. It helps more than you guys think. And uh, yeah, let's get into some games. First up, we have Bard Yumi. Kind of an old deck. We got Braum saying, what's up? I like this hand. We can go off with the Omen Hawk, start buffing random stuff. And that's what the deck is all about. You put your right foot in, sorry. All right. <laughs> uh, so, oh yeah, free damage. We like that, free damage. We got Saga Seeker in the building as well. We got, um, I don't know what to do. Should I Lodestone? I might be able, maybe I should just save that for your, the young lad here. A trail painted with blood. We actually technically have similar decks. I wonder if he has the Yumi. Does he have the Yumi? Nope. I'm actually going to put the Load Stone on this to boost up the Faded, and then also threaten the Pale Cascade on the same unit. Where'd we end up this time, Book? Okay. Uh, I'm fine with that. Come out from your shadows, demon. That is fine. It's basically the same thing as getting the faded proc. I get to break one mana here. Oh my god. 
god, Becky. Brom is on the job. I'm gonna put out Brom because it's gonna deter his uh, attack with. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna just slightly deter his attack there. This gives us a lot of really good options, actually. Wait, did it, the chime land on here? Oh no, I don't. I don't have chimes. What am I? Can I? No, I can't play both. Okay. This is fun. Yes. I mean, he could technically boost that up. I'm just gonna take the safer route here. That way, I can threaten um, the Brom itself, which will give us me a more immediate boost. Another good boost would just be actually playing Mira. I don't know what he's trying to do there, but there's... I mean, he's somewhat close to leveling, but... Is it plus one, plus one? Uh, this seems so good. This seems better, though. If I'm being honest. It just starts to buff my board and everything like that kind of crazy-like. Yes, he's gonna start attacking me for a lot, but uh, if he attacks for anything else, now I can take hearts, so the timing is a little bit different, but. Braum is leveled. But until he can get over this seven, a lot of his other units can't really attack, so. What is this, three or, okay, five. And we actually could, we can get our own elusive here too. Okay. There we go, nice and thick. There we go. One mana, I, I don't think so. And we still have we still have a way of uh, boosting our guy up. We have a lot of protection here. Big boy! How you doing, big boy? Bro, I'm fucking coming to town. Santa, Rob is coming. Santa, Rob is coming. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, you whore. Cankerous whore. I, um, I can get myself up to... To death. All right, so we got a lot of, we could push a lot of damage. Uh, maybe I could attack with possibly more to push even more damage. This is a unfavorable trade. This is a good trade. That's a good trade. He actually went with that. I threatened his Yumi thing. Uh, this is gonna be a battle of the do one thing and pass. <laughs> do one thing and pass. Oh no. Hey! You little rascal. We got a uh, Brom evolving out here. I don't see what. What are you gonna do after that? Santa Brom is coming. Like, he can't elusive me to death. Even if he, like, really tried, he could get some good hits here on Yumi. But, uh, I can easily make this a, uh, make this a loser. He's not gonna be able to kill me with it by any stretch of the imagination. And he does have to be a little bit cautious of that. You have to be somewhat aware of that as well. This is a beautiful card to draw, because then I can do that into the draw. I think this game is pretty much one. A goddamn! That's a big boy! Look at, look at that face. That face of wisdom and glory. Oh, that's a crap card. Ah, oh, boy. But he actually taps himself out pretty vicious here. And a lot of the troublesome cards from this deck are actually, as you guys would know. Alright, I don't need to... I'll give him more stats. Bum. Don't know what other cards he had there. Boom. Beautiful. We have this. 
How do you get this card? Oh, mysterious portal. My wait. How is he running that? No overwhelm though. Maybe I could. I, I should have some type of. I got damn. But like, how can he um? Oh, I forgot I had Harazi. Thank you, Kale. She's obviously leveled in the deck because of the way that the deck is formatted. Uh, but I, uh, what do you got here? It just sucks that he could have one of those big cards where he like instantly obliterates a card or something like that. So, though this attack is threatening a lot, it's very easy for him to counter. Okay, he has to deal two damage to this thing. Stuns my Braum, so he keeps his elusive thing alive. Um, I wish I could just push like a mega, t uh, like a ton of damage. Now, I let that attack go through because I kind of want Harazi. I'm assuming this card dies. Might have been a, it might have been a tad bit mistake. Not gonna lie. Oh, you know what? I should have played Harazi because then Harazi would start getting boosted up. That was that, yeah, that was a huge mistake. Oh, yeah. Yo, my mom, she gave me a field rush. That was actually a really good card for him right there. Because he can play something, but he has both of his champions already out, so. Um, he is going to, he has a, oh my god, he's, he's chimed out right now. Though, even a field of rush version is not better than my actual Braum, but I do feel... Oh, Super Maduli. Oh, uh, boy. I feel like he definitely attacks with this, right? I could actually, but ah, I mean, maybe he won't because I could easily block it. Um, my only fear here is that he has like a Obliterate, which is actually six mana, so he can instantly kill any of my units. Um, but I do feel like we have a lot more pressure. I could do this as well, too. That'll take out his thing. He still has a lot more to do. But, fuck it. Go for broke. You can't stop all of my attacks, Goku. Um, if anything, this... Uh, why do I care? I don't. My open attack is insanely strong. Get him, Kale! Oh, that's good. I could try to uh, set up a, a overwhelm unit, but I already have one, so um, we have Brom pull you, obviously, and then we just threaten with that, obviously. Um, and then we hit him. Oh, actually, no, no, we got the mic drop. We got the mic drop back in the building. Oh god damn! <laughs> okay, we got buffs. Still dies the Brom. Look at Brom! Look at Brom for the goddamn people, my guy. Oh, you are super fucking dead. <laughs> Uh, I got damn. <laughs> Victory is friends we made 
along the way. All right, next up we have Aurelia and Gerwin. Oh, Brahm's like, yo, it's my shine. It's my time to sh 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 shine. I got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in my bank account. And yes, I, I like I've always said, I, I think. I actually think you should always run Mikhail's Blessing in Targon because of silences, because of frostbites, because of things. Because actually, frostbites, if you guys pay attention to them, they're actually written as like an aura, like or something like that. It's like it's really weird when you get frostbitten. Um, okay, good. Obviously, I can't attack. It's just. Okay, he's going for it. Go for broke. He might even drop his uh, landmark here. But I actually think this is a good thing. Yeah, there it is. Yes. Might need to use one here. Brom, uh, setting, getting a fat, a fat Brom actually I think would be a really good thing. I'm gonna do this because it allows me to actually, ah, then again, open attacking doesn't really mean anything. But he doesn't really care too much about some of his units, so Rom will be able to block. If I can buff Rom up to be the stack daddy that he is. Uh, that's pretty good too, but. I'd like to start leveling up Kale a little bit, but. Is on the job. This should be better. Welcome, one and all, to the Midnight Rebel! Start getting Kale pumped up. Get another little blocker here, which is pretty good. He definitely had more cards to play. He probably was being there. It is. Like, Braum eats up most of the stuff that's going on here. When I get an attack token. Okay. Oh, beautiful develop, actually. Now that we got Spirits Unleashed. Kind of want to be safe, but... You are safe with Braum. I kind of want to be safe. You are safe with Brom, okay? Because that can weaken me enough that he can actually do, like, another thing here. Um, a lot of buffs, twin disciplines. Uh, there's a lot of cards he can play here to actually take him out. Okay, he actually goes with the ephemeral game. Ah, uh, like, I could technically take care of it, but uh, the way that it's... Can I give this to anyone? No, I can't. So, that is unfortunate. Actually, I don't strike. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> eh? What'd I tell you, boys? Appreciate your patronage. Appreciate your patronage, my man with the Mikhail's blessing. You'll love to see it. Boom. We have Kale. Uh, throwing Kale out against this deck just seems like kind of stupid to do. And what I mean by that, like I'll drop Kale, she'll give every, she'll grant everyone some attack, and then she just gets vengeance. <laughs> so doesn't seem like the smartest thing in the world to do. He's actually gonna pass with a shit ton of mana up. Kale's not really powered up here. He's obviously trying to protect a certain card in hand or something like that. Um, Let's go our the door. Onwards. Yeah. Ah. First we fight. I think we still attack here though. Uh, we kill out this. I don't think there's much you can do to protect it. Yeah, there goes the vengeance. Another, like I said, no reason to um, invest any further into anything. He keeps this alive, but. I'm um, not sure what he can do there. We have another Brahmin hand, exactly, so not much to worry about when it comes to that. No reason to also play Kale this early either. Uh, I think we go with this one and try to buff up something in the hand. I do need to bank some spell mana. Nice. Hit landed on Brahm, which is what it's good to see. He needs to spend some of the spell mana. Okay. Open attack doesn't really seem like a great idea. I actually think flawless duet would make the most sense here. A line around me. <laughs> Are you 
I want to threaten that. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I actually need the full block. I didn't see my HP, actually. Holy God. All right. We're definitely going to go with... Actually, I could just go with this. So let's do it. Um, is still like technically blockable. Valma in the building. I was like, wait, where did Kale go? What the hell? That's such a low committal play. Uh. Wait, no, I forgot it does one to my nexus. Oh lord. Dude, why didn't you guys tell me? What the fuck? Dude, I'm, oh boy. Oh boy, now I gotta block like everything. If he has like an additional blade dance, I just lose. Where they fall, freedom grows. Okay. I just have to block. If he has anything else besides that. This is kind of a weird tech in this deck though. I mean, that's irrelevant. I made mistakes. All right, I can still block a single or blade dance unit. Okay, Rom is really good here. A second tail is even better though. I actually think I could, with 10 mana, with 10 mana I could play, no, I can't play both. Which one's thicker? This one's thicker. I wish I had this. What a strange, wonderful world. Right, we got the lovely chain going on. Deliverance. There we go. I was always mortal. Turn back, trespasser. I don't like this. I feel like there's no way I can actually win. Oh, you know what? He just wins with a. Uh... With what's my call on open? It sucks. I mean, that means that my spirits at least actually doesn't matter. Holy fire, burn away the darkness. Now, if I drew uh, Mira, there's a possibility I could have maybe did something. Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. I think I may have been able to play that better, but it is Shadow Isles. Leave them to their sinful ways. Yeah. Alright, what do we do? Whoa, what the hell? Who do all these people? Yo, Braum is like, yo, just use me, G. I got this. Uh so we got Kale, Quinn, Yumi, and Poppy. Maybe triple Kale. But it could just be two, maybe two, two, one, one. I can see you won't, you don't want multiple Yumi's because their champion spell sucks. And you don't want multiple poppies for the same reason. So I can see two, two, one, one as a split. Um, I think that last match was unfortunate. I think I needed to draw a uh, Mita or I'm actually not running. I know it sounds, it's terrible, but I'm not running the, uh, the one cost, one that gets enlightened, but I could actually see maybe running it. Maybe even over the Saga Seeker. Saga Seeker is a nice cheap unit to buff up though. So maybe uh, instead of this, but I have this for the Sand Swaps. That's why I have the other card too. Sand Swaps in case I need to make a Overwhelm unit. I will die when I am ready. Big facts. Let him know. Definitely not blocking that. We easily go here with this. Super hard to take this out. A 2-4. I don't think he can drop anything and I get to attack. Start boosting some stuff up in the deck. I'm happy with that other match. At least we got to hit him with the Mikhail's Blessing. I, am, I was always mortal. I was always mortal. Boosting up something spicy on the top. All right, nice pale cascade. I don't know whether or not to go this or this. 
I think this because our hands getting a little bit low and then we can also get buffs on these units He's not really applying too much pressure at the moment, so I think I just go with that No support shenanigans going on Fantastic, I don't even have to work. I like when you just take away my ability to block a unit like ah should I block that unit? And then I can't block it anymore. So I'm like ah, I guess not Easy. Thanks for making my my life choices dramatically easy. All right, so he's the one that got that buff. I think we start getting Braum set up. This deck, outside of having like uh, something else, uh, what is this? No, this is Dark and Spear. Um, I think that we just start buffing. We get Braum start to you know getting his thing on. Let Braum do his thing a thing. There we go. Pull the highest. There we go. Get us another little blocker here. Now, I do have to be a little bit cautious because what is it? Turn six, he can drop that card, the Omega, the Exodia. We got elusive. I'm, I'm not sure why he's running this. Like, what? Uh, what is he running? Like, Young Witch or something? I don't know. I'm not sure. All right. There we go. Now our hand looks way better. We dropped out the the lovely Vulpine Wanderer here. Today's the day I find that hero. Today's the day we are absolutely fucked because of that. Oh god. Actually, her attacking. She's not really safe attacking. Actually, gonna go with the one cost player. If he attacks with um, if he actually attacks with Poppy, we have the ability to really. Like killer, so yeah, he boosts up his entire board. But we can take a bunch of the blocks. He has one mana, so he pretty much knows Poppy's gonna die. So he played a four mana boost my boost everyone by plus one plus one. That's pretty much what he just did. All right, um, so what's the easiest way to do this? I would definitely want to draw. Spears Unleashed is really good to see. We could have an additional buff there, but boom and then boom. We take a decent amount of damage here, but I feel like we recover pretty decently as well. This thing is a pain in my ass, but. Omen Hawk. Alright, Vulpine is getting spicy. And then maybe drop this and then go with the Spears Unleashed. Only the guilty need fear me. Oh boy. Patience, cautious, and quiet. This is our way. He only has one mana, so. A uh, big attack here, so if we can draw into kill, that'd be fantastic. Him blocking with uh, his kill here seems a little like way too risky. Not that many one cost stuff that I could have, to be honest though. But I feel like it's just unnecessary risk to block with it. Burn, deceiver. Especially like if him doing this, right? What if I have another um? Another spirits unleashed, and now your now your unit dies. Which I actually do technically have. I can um, but actually I can't do it because if I use this to kill off his kale, then he has the ability to just kill me with elusive damage. So he kind of, in a sense, has me by my balls. He can even kill me here, actually, which is kind of. Kind of crappy. I would have swore that was going to be it. 
I need to save three mana. All right, here it is, guys. This is the only way I can envision winning. He uh, he already like unless he has rally. Rally's a thing. Okay. I need to play Harazi into this next turn. I'm drawing to see if I can get additional answers. Okay. I mean, this guy's big, but doesn't mean anything. All right. Let's go for broke. I don't know if he sees the play. I don't know if he has a way to counter it, but it's very slow and very counterable. <laughs> so please, please have no counters. Is that is the mana dump that I'm looking for. That is the mana dump that I'm looking for. Oh, please tell me you fucked up. Please tell me you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you love to see it <laughs> what was that play the day is ours. Now we eat. yes and honestly ladies and gentlemen i've been recording so many different matches for you guys I think that that's good enough for me. Uh, three games of some awesome games. I have to learn another thing that's been screwing me up and it's actually been screwing you guys up as far as getting content out to you guys is that sometimes I take a while, like I record hours to get good gameplay. Uh, you guys know I don't care if I lose, but if the games are shit, like because I'm playing something slightly off beta and I just get demolished, I'm not going to show that. <laughs> it's like, well, bad deck gets beaten by better deck. That's not exactly fun. But if at least if there's something cool that happens, then I'm like, okay, cool. But this deck, I do think it has potential. Like I said, I kind of do for regret kind of not running. Uh, where the hell is this? This one drop. If you would like to show your face. Wait, is it not a one drop? Is it not in Targon? What the hell? Where is it? I, I probably passed it because I'm, I'm terrible. Yeah, it is. Divine Clerk. Um, I do think that having this in there a little bit early, getting it some early boost will kind of help you stay afloat in some of those other matchups. Uh, you could definitely, uh, maybe not as many Omen Hawks, but it does help with the Omen Hawk. Maybe, uh, maybe something like taking these down. But I do like the stance swap, I, and, that, and that's one of the reasons why. Not only is Harazi a really good target, but anything that got boosted up to heaven, uh, and you could do that. Or you can even plop it on your Mira after she maybe took some damage, or you can put it on Kale. Like, the stance swaps... Uh, Look, uh, people don't like Udir, but I do think it, uh, like his stance swaps are really good. And it allows you to make certain cool units that you might need to make. And I thought that the combo that we just showcased near, at the end there is just phenomenal. It's Chef's Kiss. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. That was super fun. And I got some other spicy decks coming up. So you guys got to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.